I want to be everything God will allow me to be till the day I die. I want to live, walk, and operate in the victory that I have inside of me and not one ounce less. And I can imagine Eleazar feeling like I cannot have this kind of attitude. And the Bible says that he wasn't like this. He didn't let what happened to him last week influence who he was today. But he made his mind up, if I'm going to fight, I'm going to be a hard-headed fighter. I'm going to be a warrior for the Lord. The Bible says one morning he woke up, and when his feet hit the ground, he went straight for the Philistines. And he fought so long and so hard that we're told in Scripture that his hand stuck to the sword that he was swinging. His hand held the sword so long and he never let go of it until it actually was bonded to the sword. Now that's not giving up right there, people. That's not letting what you've been diagnosed as or somebody told you you were or how you feel like you are. That's being determined. I'm going to live in victory. And I believe I need to tell somebody in multitudes or maybe out there that you may have your hand on the sword and you feel like you've been holding it long enough. Don't you let go of that bad boy. You grip it tighter than you've ever had because there's a victory that you're not expecting that's right around the corner. Listen to what the Word says. When he arose that morning, he attacked the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand stuck to the sword. And by him doing that and not quitting and giving up and believing what everybody else said, the Lord brought about a great say great victory church great. I love great victories and the people returned after him only to plunder all they did was take over the spoil victory comes when you make up your mind you're not going to move 